Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to share a resource pool across multiple projects in Microsoft Project. This will allow you to see over allocations across multiple projects. This could be generally used if you're a project manager managing three or four different projects with the same group of resources across those three or four different projects. You want to break them out into different schedules, maybe have different project managers running them, things like that. But you want to share those resources and see where you, all your resources are working across multiple projects. This would make the assumption that you do not have Microsoft Project Online and that you're just using Microsoft Project. I'd, you'd be well advised to use Project Online and use the Enterprise Resource Pool. But if you're just a standalone project user, this video is for you and I'm going to show you how to do it. So we have two project schedules here, ABC Project and we also have the XYZ Project. These are two project schedules that I have saved to my local PC. What I want to do is share a group of resources across both of these projects. To do this, what you'll need to do is actually build out a third project schedule that is going to be just for your resources. I actually built this out earlier. So you can see here, if I go to my resource per project, and I'm going to actually going to use the resource sheet view. So I'm not going to do any tasks, nothing in here, no start date, nothing. All I'm going to have is my resources, Tom, Dick and Harry. Give them a standard rate, put their calendars in, etc. If you want to learn more about building out your resources, take a look at my uh, resource planning in Microsoft Project videos. I've got a whole ton of those managing resources. Learn more about that in depth. But for now, I have a very simple resource sheet in my resource pool. You must save this project schedule. There you go. I save my resource pool the updated information it must be open when you do the following things so i currently have three schedules abc xyz and resource pool i'm going to go now into the abc project and share that resource pool that i created with this project to do that resource ribbon resource pool share resources use resources from and i'm going to use my resource pool project there is you can see i could go for the other project Definitely don't want to do that. You want to have a separate standalone one so you can manage those resources in one place. Now you have an option if there is a conflict on, you know, somebody in one of the projects opens it up and changes something or pushes somebody around. Do you want to override the pool or do you want the sharer to take precedence? Well, I'm going to say that the pool will take precedence. I always recommend to go with that one. Press OK. This project can now have Tom, Dick and Harry working on it. Tom, Dick and Harry, there we go. Start assigning them nicely like that. Obviously there's much, many different ways to assign resources. I have videos on that. Please like and subscribe. Take a look at those videos as well. I go into a lot of detail on assigning resources. So now we'll do the same thing for the XYZ project. So I'll come in here, resource pool, share resources, use resources from the resource pool, pool takes precedence. OK, and right away, I'm going to come into task one. And I do actually happen to believe that task one is running at the same time as the task one in the other project. So now, because we've assigned them in this one, they're not over allocated in this project, but they are assigned in the other project at the same time. And in fact, I can see that they are now over allocated and I get the infamous red man. I can hover over that or I can actually go to the view ribbon, go to the uh, resource usage view. I really like this view. So you can see where Tom's working, task one and task two and different projects. You can go to the task usage view, see that Tom, uh, task one has got Tom, Dick and Harry working on it. Uh, you can see if I scroll over, there's where I'm working. If I go to the resource usage view, you can see Tom is working on task one, task two and task one in the other project. So there you go. I hope that you found this informational and please like and subscribe to my channel. Please feel free to make any comments of any other videos you'd like to see. Hopefully that's helpful.